to the channel Dudier Academy. In this video, I have included a new topic that is Spalding classification. So, what is this Spalding classification? It was proposed by Earl Spalding in the year 1957 and it is a strategy for sterilization or disinfection of inanimate objects and surfaces based on the degree of risk involved in their use. So it is a strategy for the sterilization of the objects or surfaces or the devices based on the use of it and how much uh, degree of contamination it is having. So based on the use and degree of contamination we are classifying equipment's decontamination or the sterilization or the disinfectants are being classified. So what is Spalding classification? It was proposed by Earl Spalding and it is proposed in the year 1957. Spalding classification is proposed in the year 1957 and it is a strategy for sterilization or disinfection of inanimate objects and surfaces. So it is a standard system of classification for the disinfectants uh, that is based on the degree of risk of contamination or degree of risk involved in their use. That is based on the risk of contamination we are classifying the surfaces or objects. So we can say it is a classification of equipment decontamination or it is a standard system of classification for the disinfectant. So we can divide the devices, the spalding classification according to this, the devices or the surfaces can be divided into critical, semi-critical and non-critical. The surfaces can be divided into critical, semi-critical and non-critical. So first category is critical or we will call it as high, critical or high. So according to this, the medical devices that enters the sterile tissue or vascular spaces that is included in category critical. Critical means all the devices, medical devices that are entering into the sterile tissue or vascular space. What uh, level of micro, microbicidal action is required is it kills all the microorganisms. In case of this critical devices, the type of uh, microbicidal action needed is to kill all the microorganisms. And so here we need sterilization as a method of decontamination. Sterilization is needed here as the method of decontamination in case of the critical devices. And the examples of these items or the equipments include the surgical instruments, implants, prosthesis, then scalpels, urinary catheters, needles, syringes, dressings, sutures, delivery sets, then dental instruments. Please note all these dental instruments are also included in this critical category. Then rigid bronchoscope, cystoscope. So whatever, whatever uh, instruments which are entering into the sterile tissue or into the vascular space, they are considered as the critical items and they need sterilization as a method of decontamination. So that is the critical. Second category is semi-critical or we will call it as intermediate. Semi-critical or intermediate. According to this classification, this include all the medical devices that come in contact with mucous membrane or non-intact skin. So here this include all the medical devices that come in contact with mucous membrane or non-intact. So what is the level of microbicidal action required here is it kills all microorganisms except high number of bacterial spores. So here this type of semi-critical devices in there uh, it should be uh, the level of microbicidal action needed here in semi-critical devices is that to kill all the microorganisms except high numbers of bacterial spores. And so what is the method of decontamination required here is an intermediate level of decontamination that include the high level of disinfection by uh, heat or chemicals. High level disinfection by heat or chemicals is required here. Then example of the equipments or the items include the respiratory therapy and anesthetic equipments. Then endotracheal tube, ET tube, then flexible endoscopes, then vaginal speculum, reusable bedpans and urinals, 
patient bounce. So these are all the examples for the semi-critical uh, devices. The devices that come in contact with the mucous membrane or non-intact skin. Then the third category is non-critical or low. The non-critical devices or surfaces the, that include all the items in contact with the intact skin. All the devices and the items that come in contact with the intact skin is known as non-critical. Non-critical devices that kills the vegetative bacteria, fungi and viruses. So here low level of disinfection is required. Low level of disinfection is required and uh, that is just cleaning is required here in this type of uh, method of decontamination required in non-critical. Then uh, the examples of the common items or equipments include blood pressure cuff, BP cuff, then stethoscope, ECG leads and also uh, the table tops that is the environmental surfaces including operation table uh, OT table and other environmental surfaces. So, all these table tops and BP cuff and stethoscope, ECG leads, all these are coming in uh, this category that is the non critical items. So, these are the basic classification according to L. Spalding that is critical, semi critical, and non critical items. So, the critical items enters the sterile tissue or vascular system and it requires sterilization. The semi-critical items are the objects that come in contact with the mucous membrane and non-intact skin and they require high level of disinfection and the non-critical items are the objects that come in contact with the intact skin but not the mucous membrane, it come in contact with the intact skin and they require low level of disinfection. So thank you all of you and also subscribe the channel.